The Eve of St. Agnes by John Keats. St. Agnes Eve, ah, bitter chill it was. The owl, for all his feathers, was a cold. The hare limped, trembling through the frozen grass, and silent was the flock in woolly fold. Numb were the beadsman's fingers, while he told his rosary and while his frozen breath like pious incense from a censer old seemed taking flight for heaven without a death past the sweet virgin's picture while his prayer he saith his prayer he saith this patient holy man then takes his lamp and riseth from his knees and back returneth meagre barefoot wan along the chapel aisle by slow degrees sculptured dead on each side seem to freeze imprisoned in black purgatorial rails knights ladies praying in dumb oratories he passeth by, and his weak spirit fails. To think how they may ache in icy hoods and mails. Northward he turneth through a little door, And scarce three steps, ere music's golden tongue, Flattered to tears this aged man and poor, But no already had his death bell rung. The joys of all his life were said and sung. His was harsh penance on St. Agnes's Eve. Another way he went, and soon among rough ashes sat he for his soul's reprieve. And all night kept awake for sinner's sake to grieve. The ancient Beadsman heard the prelude soft, and so it chanced, for many a door was wide, from hurry to and fro. Soon up aloft the silver, snarling trumpets gone to chide, the level chambers ready with their pride were glowing to receive a thousand guests. The carved angels, ever eager-eyed, Stared where upon their heads the cornice rests. With hair brown, black, and wings put crosswise on their breasts, At length burst in the argent revelry With plume, tiara, and rich array, Numerous as shadows, Haunting fairly, the brain new stuffed in youth with trumpets gay of old romance. These let us wish away, and turn soul thoughted to one lady there whose heart had brooded all that wintry day on love and winged Saint Agnes's saintly care as she had heard old dames full many times declare. They told her how upon St. Agnes's Eve young virgins might have visions of delight and soft adorings from their loves receive upon the honey-eyed middle of the night. If ceremonies do, they did aright as sufferless to bed they must retire and cough supine their beauties lily white nor look behind nor sideways but require of heaven with upward eyes for all that they desire full of this whim was thoughtful madeleine the music yearning like a god in pain she scarcely heard her maiden eyes divine fixed on the floor saw many a sweeping train pass by she heeded not at all in vain. Come many a tiptoe, amorous cavalier, and back retired, 
not cooled by high disdain. But she saw not her heart was otherwhere. She sighed for Agnes's dreams, the sweetest of the year. She danced along with vague regardless eyes, anxious her lips, her breathing quick and short. The hallowed hour was near at hand. She sighs amid the timbrels and the thronged resort of whisperers in anger or in sport. Mid looks of love, defiance, hate, and scorn, hoodwinked with fairy fancy all amort, save to Saint Agnes and her lambs unshorn, and all the bliss to be before tomorrow morn.